So which is better, a spike aerator or a plug aerator? Here I've got a very common plug or core aerator. This is the Yard Butler. It has two, it pulls two cores, four inches deep. And I've got a pitchfork. Most people use pitchforks um, or things very, very similar to pitchforks uh, to spike aerate their lawn. Both of these things are going to poke holes into your lawn. So obviously you're going to get holes. There's going to be aeration. But the thing is, spike aerators of all forms, even the like weird shoe versions that they make, are nowhere near as good as core aerators. Core aerators are good simply because they actually remove material from the from the lawn space. When you actually remove material from the lawn space, you are not only creating a channel for air, water, uh, and nutrients to get down into the subsoil, but you are also relieving compaction. So with a spike aerator, really all you're doing is you're making a hole but you're making a hole by compacting the soil more. So although you will now have a channel for moisture uh, to get down into like below the soil surface, the soil that is there in the lawn is actually going to be a little bit harder simply because you've squished it together. Now there are a few circumstances where using a spike aerator is perfectly fine. If you literally just need to get moisture deep into the ground, into let's say for instance compacted soil that is repelling water, you've got like water runoff, then a spike aerator can be a quick, uh, a quick easy win, especially since you probably already have a pitchfork sitting around. For core aerators, they're harder to use, uh, they do perform better, and if you're going to core aerate an entire yard space like this, you got to dedicate a pretty good amount of time to the project. Now, if you want to learn more about how to core aerate your lawn manually, I've got a video linked right up here. I suggest you give it a watch. It'll give you all of the basic tips that you're going to need.